Oakwell Veterinary Medical Center says it's seen a disturbing trend amid the pandemic. Unruly behavior from clients towards staff. And it's a problem they say is getting worse. We sent Channel 2's Jeff Preval to dig into this. We have clients that have thrown things. We have clients that verbally abuse the staff and the doctors. Leaders of Orchard Park Veterinary Medical Center say that behavior really started to be a big problem about a year ago and that staff members here are verbally abused daily. It's extremely emotional um, to see the staff who are so compassionate and work so hard every day to take care of our, our patients who many are very, very sick and they advocate for the patients and then to have clients screaming at them and yelling at them and having unrealistic expectations. It's really, it's emotionally draining. The medical center says throughout the pandemic, more people have adopted pets and with a shortage in staff, there aren't many open appointments resulting in client frustration. They expect, um, you know, that their pets will be um, seen for surgical consults immediately, which we only have three surgeons, so that's not always possible. Um, of course, the cost as well. The medical center says it had to hire overnight security and has had to call the police on some unruly clients. The agency even put up these signs pleading with people to be courteous. It hasn't unfortunately deterred the behavior as much as we thought that it would. I would hope that it starts to get better. Um, we are actively recruiting veterinarians. We're recruiting staff. Um, we're trying to manage expectations um, for clients so that they know what to expect. So the message from the medical center to the community once again, be respectful towards staff amid the shortage in veterinarians. The Erie County SPCA says it has also seen these heightened emotions from some pet owners, Michael. So Jeff, verbal abuse is abuse. It's bad, there's no excuse for it, but I think people will probably wonder, has this turned physical at all? Yeah, I asked about that, and at this time, no, hopefully that doesn't happen, but the medical center tells me that it had to file a restraining order against the client for their behavior. All right, Channel 2's Jeff Preval with that story from our newsroom. Jeff, thank you very much.